In this video, we are going to be learning how to fully anonymize our Kali Linux with WhoAmI. I will first install WhoAmI and then we are going to see what are the capabilities of WhoAmI. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and go to google.com and search for WhoAmI space GitHub and press enter. Go to the first link. This is the official URL of WhoAmI. From here, first click on code and then copy the link. Then open up your terminal and type git clone space, paste the link and press enter. I can now confirm that the project has been downloaded successfully. I will now change to the directory and then I will go back to the website again and scroll down and first copy this command to download all the dependencies required. And in my terminal, I'll paste the command and press enter. After the dependencies are installed, I will simply type the command sudo make install and press enter. Now we are all done and ready to start who am I. So first I'll check the help menu by typing the command sudo space kali dash who am I space dash dash help. I can see these are all the switches I can use with who am I. So first let me start who am I and I can see in order to start who am I, I have to use this switch. So I will type the command sudo space kali who am I space dash dash start and press enter after who am I starts as you can see I have nine options the first is the anti MITM it will automatically ban the attacker when you come under the man in the middle attack the second is the lock killer this will destroy all the lock files in your machine so that you cannot be traced the third option is the IP changer with this option your actual IP will be hidden the fourth option is the DNS changer this will replace the default DNS server provided by your ISP your ISP will also not know what you're browsing on the internet. The Mac changer, time zone changer and hostname changer would change the default configuration and give you an extra layer of anonymity. Suppose if I chose hostname changer, then my actual hostname would have been changed and it would have given me a random hostname. The same with the time zone changer. It will set the time in UTC to avoid location leaks from the system clock and Mac changer would change my actual Mac address into a fake Mac address. And the browser anonymization will give you a more privacy focused browsing and the anti-cold boot will avoid random by deleting traces in the system. Now that you understand what all of the options can do, let's try any one of them. First, I will try the IP changer. So select the number beside the option that you want to use. So since I want to use the option IP changer, I will type three and then press enter. And I can see there is a tick mark beside it and it says IP changer was checked. Press enter again. And I can see IP changer has been successfully enabled. So I will type the command sudo kali who am I status and I can see IP changer is enabled and if I go to my browser and go to the site dnsleaktest.com I can see my IP has been completely changed and it is showing me that I'm from the country Poland and you can also use multiple options at once so I will start the Kali who am I again and I will choose lock killer so I will press 2 and then press enter I will choose time zone changer so I will type 6 and press enter I will change my host name and then press enter and then finally press enter and I can see the lock killer time zone and hostname has been changed. So if I cat etc hostname, I can see my hostname is completely different from Kelly. And if I type date, I can see the date has been also completely changed from the actual date and time. And my logs are also deleted. And if you wanted to stop Kelly, who am I? Type the command sudo Kelly, who am I? Stop. And all the features will be disabled. So that is how to fully anonymize your Kelly Linux with who am I? If you like this content, and want to watch similar content focused on privacy, security, ethical hacking or Kali Linux in general, please subscribe to the channel. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.